100 miles. That's what we're training for. It's my first 100 mile run, February 18th, Forgotten Florida. 100 miles is a long way, that's why I uh, gotta wake up at five. Tomorrow is the turkey trot in Ocala. It's Thanksgiving, so today we're just gonna do a four mile, maybe five mile easy run, light. I just did a 50K on Saturday, Wild Florida 50K, which I got seventh in. And so that's 31 miles. My legs are a little, they don't have a lot of pep in them like they used to. Six o'clock in the morning now, headed to the trail. I wonder how many people will be at the trail getting ready to run in the dark at six. Probably about as many as uh, are prepping for a 100 mile <laughs> ultra run. But I gotta take my daughter to a camp where they work with dogs at a shelter and uh, so I don't have time to wait for the sun to come up. I don't have my regular light this morning, so I'm gonna be running with a little flashlight, headlamp, which is not as good as a regular lamp, but it'll have to do for today. No big deal. Sometimes I have to do things I don't wanna to do to prepare for things like this. I've never prepared for a 100 mile run before, but I've only done two 30 mile runs, like, ever. Both of those 30 mile runs have been the farthest runs I've ever done. I've never done a marathon. I've only ever done, I've never done a marathon. I've only ever done the 50K. And those 50K trail races are the ones that counted as my marathon. All right, I'll catch back up with you guys after the run. Four miles done. It is getting to be daylight outside. Four miles in 31, 19, 7, 40 something minute pace. 7.49. I can still feel some of the uh, effects from the 50K. <clears throat> Tomorrow the turkey trot. Six miles of speed, I don't know how that's gonna go. But, morning run it's like 6 40 in the morning still nobody's out here not even at the horse park or at uh, cactus jack for the trail rides so just me running like an idiot something I really dislike doing
I sit in this for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's because it aids in recovery and helps to do that kind of thing. And the other is it freaking sucks. And I like to do challenging things. So I know a lot of people go up to their neck, but uh, this hole kind of keeps me from doing that. And I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to, so <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, I'm gonna really try and push this training block for the 100 miler. Uh, I've been, had some semi-decent success, I guess, on these 30 mile runs on the 250Ks I've done. And I wanna see how well I can do on this uh, 100 miler in February. I'm about 90 days out, close, a little, a little less, but uh, you know, basically 90 days. I'm starting my main training in, in a few days after the uh, turkey trot tomorrow when uh, I'm gonna start training like it's marathon training and that marathon training will have a lot of volume it's going to involve a lot of these baths ice baths for recovery I also do a lot of protein shakes right after my runs to see uh, to try and get protein and recover as fast as I can to get those long runs this block will this three month block will do three weeks hard training and then one one week easy and then we'll repeat that until it's race time with probably a couple weeks of lower intensity right before the race um, two big sessions per race or sorry two big sessions or quality sessions I like to call them uh, per week before the race are during those two quality sessions <laughs> per week as you can tell I can't think in the ice water uh, each week of the three weeks and then one week will be endurance uh, easy runs only so all my easy runs are basically between 7:30 and 8 30 minute miles I'm gonna do a lot of paved trail running for this there won't be a lot of trail running uh, one of my longer runs each week will be a trail run but that's it because uh, just for ease and I'm trying to get time on my feet right now my body's not used to it so you heard the timer it is time to get out so <sighs> getting out is just as bad as getting in Ugh! <sighs>